How do I troubleshoot my robot at a FIRST Robotics competition event? When you're in a match and your robot stops working, that can be a really stressful situation. But it's important to remember to be very specific about finding out what exactly happened on the field. Are there still lights on your robot? Is it completely off? Was it the whole robot that wasn't working? Or was it just one mechanism? All of these things will help you diagnose the issue and help solve this problem in future matches. When you're in the match itself, you can look at your driver's station and see whether you're still connected to the field. If all the lights are green on your driver's station and you're still connected, then it might be another problem. When I'm troubleshooting a robot, I like to look at it logically and logically progress through from the larger systems to the smaller systems. If your whole robot loses power, that's bad. But if you can isolate it to one system, that'll really help you isolate the problem and figure out what's wrong. After you take your robot off the field, there are a number of things that you can check to trace the problem down. When you get back to the pit, I like to leave the robot in as close to the state that it was when I competed in the match prior. Check to see if your main breaker is open. If it is, that means that something has caused that breaker to trip or has physically deployed the button and turned off your robot. That's a really great place to start. Check for loose main power connections. You can tug on your wires and see if anything's loose or dangling and see if anything's out of place. Sometimes a rogue game piece or other item may have hit some wires or hit some sensors in other places and have caused malfunctions on your robot. It's important to check these things so you can fix them for subsequent matches. Once back in the pit, I recommend doing a systems check. If you've checked all the electrical and physical systems on your robot and still can't diagnose what's wrong, another tool that you can use is your driver station log. Your driver station records a log of everything that happens in the match. It's the same log that the FTA see on the field. There are key data points that can be identified by looking at these logs. The key things to identify in the logs are battery voltage dropping below the default RoboRio brownout limit of seven volts, packet loss and or latency spikes on your network connection. If you find you are consistently having network trouble, you may want to try to limit the amount of data you're sending back and forth between your robot and the driver's station. The more data you send, the more likely you are to lose valuable control packets. Robot state changes. Is the robot switching between teleop and disabled for some reason? If you have any questions, you can always talk to the field staff, FTA, or CSA at your event, and they can help you diagnose your problem. All these tools will help you diagnose issues that you may have with your robot on the playing field. And that is how you troubleshoot your robot at a FIRST Robotics competition event.